Today, we're going to a place normal passengers never get to see to learn about recycling and step inside a locomotive. So this is a fun video for me to make because it combines my personal interest in trains with my professional interest in international relations. Let's go to Chicago, Illinois. Back in May of 2025, transportation attaches from several European countries and Japan were invited to a behind the scenes tour of a Metra facility. Metra, as you may know if you've been watching this channel for a while, is the commuter agency in and around Chicago. Metra has one electric line that uses multiple units, but the other 10 lines use diesel locomotives that haul passenger cars. And today, these diplomatic staff members are getting a tour of the facility that refurbishes these diesel-hauled Metra trains. The tour starts at LaSalle Street Station in the Loop. LaSalle was once a major long-distance railway station, serving luxury trains to destinations like New York. But in recent decades, it has just served Metra's Rock Island District, a commuter line. I have a few videos about the Rock Island on the channel, I'll link them in the description below. Today, however, we're on a charter train. It's going to take the guests directly to the 47th, 49th Street shops, six miles to the south. While we travel this short distance, peering through the back window of one of the gallery cars we're riding in, let's talk a little bit about the history of Metra, or actually the history of railroads in Chicago. Because Chicago has had commuter rail for more than a century before Metra was ever a thing. In the 1800s, different railroads started being built across the United States, and Chicago quickly became a hub. There were many different companies that all ran their own long distance and commuter services into Chicago, and these commuter trains were responsible for the growth of neighborhoods outside of the city center as well as the many suburbs that define Chicagoland today. Unfortunately, like railway companies around the United States, in the second half of the 20th century, these companies started facing severe financial losses if they kept operating passenger service. Amtrak was created in the 1970s to take over their long distance services, but in many different states, a local agency was set up to take care of commuter rail. In Chicago, that was Metra, which was founded in 1984. Metra will either run trains themselves, like here on the Rock Island District, or they will have a contract with a freight railroad to run the passenger service. For example, freight company BNSF still operates the Metro BNSF line, but Metro takes care of tickets and branding and such. In a few cases, Metro owns their own tracks and the Rock Island District is one of them. Upon arrival at the shops, Metro staff rolls a little step to the train using a forklift so that the guests can disembark safely. Remember, there's no station here. This is not a place where passengers normally come. One of the first pieces of equipment we see is the transfer table. This yellow machine can move trains to the left and the right, allowing the maintenance facility to have multiple tracks without needing a huge yard in front with tons of switches. Speaking of locomotives, over in the corner we see several. Metra has quite a few unique locomotives, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular with rail fans. Up front, we have some of the oldest, number three, an SW1200 built in 1954, originally for the Milwaukee Road. And number four, an SW1500 built in 1967 for the Southern Pacific. These are both switchers, doing yard work but not pulling revenue trains. Oh, and here comes number two, an SW1 built in 1946 for the Illinois Central. I can't believe that an 80-year-old locomotive is just chugging along here. Although, when we step inside, we'll get some clues as to how Metra manages to run such old trains. But first, the guests received a presentation on Metra including information about the agency's history and future plans. And a lot of that is stuff we've talked about right here on Trains Are Awesome. By the way, really quick, if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. There are other ways to get connected too. We have an Instagram and I just launched channel memberships and revamped my Patreon. I'm going to be doing members only live streams and if you're a member, you'll also get some exclusive updates on my travels. Consider joining our community. 
And then it was finally time for a tour of the shops. The 47th 49th Street shops are where Metra completely rehabilitates their trains. Riding Metra, you may have noticed that the trains are quite old, probably older than most trains you'll ride anywhere, even in the United States. This facility is the reason for that. The place opened in 1948 for the Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad. When the Rock Island transferred its commuter rail service to Metra in 1983, Metra received the shops as part of the deal. This gave Metra the rare opportunity to rehabilitate their trains in-house, rather than contract it out to a different company. The facility can refurbish 60 passenger cars a year. Back in 2016, which is the most recent information I could find, the total cost of rehabilitation for one car was $650,000. I'm sure that that price tag has gone up since, but it is still significantly cheaper than having somebody else do it or buying new rail cars. It is important to note here that besides the rehab program, Metra has now also ordered some new cars from Alstom. Anything you can think of, they take care of. The interiors are completely stripped and then completely rewired by electricians. Air conditioning units are replaced. Wheelchair lifts are installed. Metal workers get to work on the outside of the cars, while other crews install new seats inside. Look, here are some doors that are waiting to be put back in the trains. They even fixed the bogies, or trucks, and the wheels. In fact, part of the recent renovations in 2020 included more room for this particular section. Over here is a water jet which cuts the metal pieces that the crews need for the refurbishments. So that's the passenger car rehabilitation program, but over on the north side of the complex, there are also the maintenance shops where Metro works on the diesel locomotives that serve the Rock Island district. While Metro has a wide variety of locomotive types, they all have one thing in common. They use prime movers built by the EMD. In fact, this is one of those things that fiercely divides rail fans and transit enthusiasts because some people love that Metra uses only EMDs and some people think that that is what's holding it back from modernizing. Metra maintenance crews have expressed a preference to continue working with this type of equipment. In recent years, a bunch of freight locomotives have been converted to run in Metra passenger service, so I think the EMD thing will last for a while. Although, remember, Metra has also ordered battery electric multiple units from Stadler, which are being built in Salt Lake City right now. Very excited for these to be introduced. Now let's take a step outside the locomotive again and look at one of these EMD prime movers, which is sitting right here. And because Metro uses all EMD products, these shops have tons of spare parts and everything that the crews might need to fix these engines. What a huge piece of machinery. Anyway, that was a tour of the 47th and 49th Street shops in Chicago, Illinois, where Metro keeps their old trains running for many more years to come. Thanks to the people at Metra for this great exclusive tour, and thank you as always for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. We'll see you next time.